All right. Hello, everybody. Woo. Hello, Olga. And welcome, everybody, to the new earlier start time. I hope this is okay with uh, everybody uh, just for my sleep schedule. Uh, we, uh, I managed to work it out with my family. Oh, my God. <laughs> welcome back to Chaos Out. I love this game. 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 Okay, so oh, last time we finally found Hinai proper. And we're just about to actually talk to her. The delusion. Hello, Axek. Welcome to the stream. We're starting off with the delusion. I love this freaking game. So, Wait, I didn't say again. Chaos Child? What did I say, Olga? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, positive. We're going positive. Hello, Exec. Welcome to the stream. Hotel? The hotel? What I said Chaos hotel. Head, really? God damn it. Oh, God. I'm so used to saying it. I said it for 50 episodes in a row. Sorry. Chaos Child, yes. What were you doing in that hotel? A moment. It felt like her body moved for just a moment. Is she like a ninja or something? What the hell? Arimura-san? Arimura-san? I could see Karusu frown in the corner of my eye. Arimura was still looking at me. Her expression hadn't changed. But for some reason, I felt like she was looking me over. Delusion driver, let's fucking go! <laughs> and then she smiled. Huh? Hmm? Do y'all want to know? Sorry. Well, just as I spoke, she leaned over and whispered into my ear. <laughs> then, why don't we go together next time? Huh? What? What did she say? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that is, I, no, uh. <laughs> The back sprites are really, really interesting. That they have, uh, everybody gets a back sprite, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's a secret between me and Miyashiro Senpai. Oh, that was a short delusion. I considered that as a possibility, but quickly abandoned it. I couldn't imagine her doing something like that after what I had seen at the hotel. Something much worse was going on there. An awkward silence ensued as we waited for her to answer. So, y'all were the Hekyo student who came into the room? Her tone of voice was perfectly normal. There was no surprise or anger, just a flat level tone. Hmm. <laughs> but somehow, that struck me as far more frightening. Even so, I nodded. A little bit too calm. Hello, Welcome to the stream, Double Entendre. Can y'all say that out loud for me instead of just nodding? Were you the one who went into that room? Is this an okay voice for her, by the way? Because I can change it. It's still pretty early. What? So, so there. That's right. So this go. I see. I couldn't tell if she cared or not. Ah, no. So the hotel, the, what? 
Um, so what were you doing in that hotel? Piano door got cut in your eye, so did you hide it or so this ne? So they were home to this call. I heard the door opened on its own, and that's how y'all got in. Is that true? You're dodging the question. <laughs> huh? The door? The door opens on its own? She knew about that. I nodded. Can y'all say that out loud for me instead of just nodding? Huh? It, it true. It opened up from the inside. So this I see. Once again, she seemed to be looking me over. What was going on here? Arimura san? Nanika anata. Arimura san? Is there something? Ja, Stilishimas. Anyway, goodbye. Do 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 do. Yeah, she is not answering anything. She clearly has her own mission. Arimura ignored Kurusu's question and went to leave. Wait, could you please explain? Oh, no need to be so polite. I'm younger than y'all. And... Oh, what the hell? Oh boy, is someone delusioning? Oh boy. You're gonna be killed, Mishiro Takuru Senpai. What the hell? Ooh. Those were her last words before she left the room. She didn't seem at all surprised that I'd questioned her, but I froze solid. Somebody put it on Hachiko. Okay. Tweeps. Club president. Oh. So Takudu is using this. Or this is his account, right? Because he's the club president. Or is no no. I forget if if Takadu or Nono was the club president. Who put this on hot to go? La la la. Creepy as fuck. Yeah, what the hell are these sumo heads? Hello, say welcome to the stream. Creepy as fuck. This is a sumo sticker, isn't it? Actually, looks kind of cute. <laughs> Why would you say that? Congratulations on 500 retweets. <laughs> what the heck is this thing, lol? I put this on hack Hachiko, la 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 la. Sumo Woofer! She's on a thousand retweets. Give me a break. I love Hachiko, but I don't care. What's up with this thing? Cute, huh? This is hilarious. Retweet Cat Evie Soon who put this on Hachiko. Hello, Gone to Heaven. Welcome to the stream. Oh, so it's no no. No no in the club president, so it's no no. Episode 7 commentary. Moe me, moe. Okay. Yeah, it's not cute in the least. I don't know who's saying that. October 2nd, 2015. Friday. Meanwhile. Dogenzaka, Shivia. Uh oh, are we gonna get another murder? Or are we following the detective? The sky had been overcast all day, and now it had finally begun to rain. Some of the news media that had been swarming around the Love Hotel decided it was a good time to go home. Others just took refuge in their vans, frowning. Meanwhile, let's see. 
Yep, Shinjo. Shinjo's mind raced as quickly as the men trying to flee the storm. What's going on here? It all started right after midnight. Arimura Hinai, the Hekiho girl, had refused to give her name, even her name, until he'd relayed Momose's message to her. But as soon as she heard it, her attitude changed completely. His only choice now is to continue to do everything Momose's kid told him to. The first thing she said was that there was almost no chance Arimura was the killer, and that it was safe to let her go. Is is Momose like directing this? It feels like she's taking a much more like uh, active role here in guiding the detectives. Probably because Bond just went and got himself killed. The second thing she said was that it'd be smarter to let her go and see what she did. The third thing she said was that even if he did get some answers out of her, he wouldn't be able to make sense out of her. Shinjo had used every bit of his authority to get her released. So yeah, she, she, I bet she clearly already knows how to use a D-sword and everything. I, I'm pretty sure. Like, just, uh, like, just like going by like how she's acting, she's clearly experienced. Shinjo had used every bit of his authority to get her released. Oh, hello, Paolo. Welcome to the stream. Oh, okay, thank you for clearing that up. Takuru is the newspaper club president, but Nono is the stu school student council president. Okay, thank you. So they're both kind of the president of different clubs. Okay, so it could be either one, actually. Thank you, Paolo. He'd been forced to suck up to some people he really didn't like. And in the end, she would be monitored and questioned by the police daily. They hadn't known if she had anything to do with Kakita's death. They used her assault on the police officer to bring her in. Either way, last evening marked 48 hours since her arrest. They had to decide whether to let her go or seek a warrant for detention. They hadn't found any physical evidence connecting her to Kakita's murder. And Arimura herself said... I don't remember nothing. That was all she said, in fact. Provisional release at this point felt like a bit of a stretch of his authority, but it was a sensible decision. If anything here wasn't sensible, it was the fact that he was doing everything Momose's acquaintance asked of him. What did she ask him to do? <sighs> Like, we haven't even seen her ask Asuka Shinjo anything. He didn't have a plan to follow. It was the first time that it happened, he thought. He only managed to be successful at his age around what Momose called the hardheads in Section 1, because he knew how to be fl flexible. The reason that many police officers could be stubborn and hard-headed was because most of the time, that was how you solved a case. Shinjo understood that the rules they clung to so fiercely, both written and unwritten, were the product of valuable experience. Oh yeah, no, she is definitely the most informed character of all the ones we've met, absolutely. But he also understood that the unorthodox methods his senior detective friend had taught him were a weapon in their own right. Oh, Bon. Jeez. Even the higher-ups didn't like him using them. They brought him success. One good example was the time the profilers had told them the person behind a string of assaults was a man in his 20s who never left his house. He found out that the culprit was actually a runaway girl in her late teens who lived in a net cafe. matched the internet logs that Section 1 had gathered with the data held by the CSD, a group that was on notoriously bad terms with Section 1. Okay, here we go. Sure, for Community Safety Division. Division of ja Japan's National Police Agency, a a a a agency is responsible for juvenile delinquency. 
particularly drug-related crimes, and cyber crimes such as unauthorized computer access, also known as Haxor. Okay, let's see. Or super hacker. In the end, he'd crack the case by locking onto an online game and tracking down several of his prep players. Oh no, Nightheart! <laughs> Including the girl behind the attacks. Shinjo was, if nothing else, confident that he was capable of not letting preconceptions keep him from making the best choice. But this time, not only did he know what was the best choice, not know what was the best choice, he didn't even know if the choices he was making were good or bad. It's ending up just like Momose-san said it would. He couldn't change things fast. But it ended up being taken off the case. Mm. Uh. He looked at his watch and realized something. The man he was waiting for wasn't here. It had cost him quite a bit to get permission to show him the crime scene, and he was over 30 minutes late. Momose-san <laughs> Mose son said there was no way I could miss him. He didn't know what he looked like, but there was no way the officer standing guard outside could miss him. Hey, wait, you! He heard a loud voice from the hallway. Oh, who's coming? Shinjo decided that before he left, let him into the crime scene. He'd give him a lecture about his tardiness. Oh, new character. He stops, surprised. It's a high school girl. A girl. Jinger detective. She, oh my god. I bet she's an actual genius detective. Oh my god. <laughs> I can already imagine. She's going to be so fucking hilarious with Takuru. <laughs> oh my god. I can already imagine their interactions. <laughs> he didn't expect to see what he saw. He convinced himself that anyone weird enough to want to see a crime scene had to be a guy. But she looked like she'd be very pretty with, be very pretty with makeup on, even if she wore none now. Brown was plastered on her face, and her long hair was half heartedly tied behind her back. She was also wearing a white lab coat, but under it was. Seifuku? A uniform? So then, that was And isn't that. The uniform was for Hekio Academy. Same school Arimura and the two kids snuck into the crime scene attended. Shinjo motioned to the officer to let her pass. Remember the last name you given by Momose. So okay, so it's not you, uh. Are you uh Kunosato san? Yeah. I leave it to you all. So you don't need my confirmation. Oh my god, she's doing the freaking Karisu thing <laughs> of speaking in English. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I leave it to you all. So you don't need my confirmation. Huh? <laughs> huh? There's no time to waste, as you know. Here. Yeah. Why is she speaking yeah. English? There's no time to waste, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got an us this damn cop. Okay. Later, Chris. Oh! Wow! 
Oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect this! Alright, so yeah, it's already taking place in the true ending of Steins Gate. It's gotta be. Uh, yeah. Uh. Well, well, I gotta nurse this dumb cop. Okay, later, Kurisu. Have fun with your boyfriend and then his insane friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. So she... Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. She, th she then hung up the phone and glared at Shinjo. Was she ever, like, hinted at in Steins Gate as, like, a friend of Kurisu? Or, like, I... Oh, wow. She showed no sign of apologizing for her lateness or gawking at the scene of a murder. This is her. It has to be. When he saw how arrogantly she was behaving, he knew immediately this had to be Kunisato person that uh, Momo say had told him about. He felt a little overwhelmed by her, but tried to make his voice as strong as he could. Kunisato-san, right? Momo-san, I don't want to be able to come to any person, but I don't want to be able to come to a young girl. Are you Kunisato-san? Knowing Momose-san, I figured I'd be ready for anything. But I can't let a young girl into a crime scene. Don't act normal when you're surrounded by things that aren't normal. Didn't she tell you that would get in your way? Hey! She ignored Shinjo's words and walked right past him. And, um, I, I, like, one of the few things I know about robotics notes is that the characters in that, I think, know Daru, so... Yeah, uh, the whole, uh, science adventure universe is pretty connected. She stepped right on top of the number plates that forensics had put on the ground to identify locations of evidence. Really? Then she looked at the blinds placed on the window to stop the media from looking inside and stop. Shinjo felt himself get annoyed by her attitude. Particularly what she just said about him in English. <laughs> I can understand English, you know. Don't cop or none, you're gonna do what I tell you. Right now. Well, yeah, normally people die when they're killed. People think that every corpse is dead. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, wow. I can't... Oh, my God. I cannot wait for her to interact with Takuru. It is going to be literally the funniest thing. <laughs> Oh my god. And her first name is Mio. Alright, let's see. You've got ears that can understand English, and you don't want Vincher? What is it? what is Vincher a par a supposed to be a parody of? Yep. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, David Vincher is a seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. An American movie director, Lion Kunisato, said is from hit psychological suspense movie 8 or 7. <laughs> yeah. Dear adventure, yeah. She put her hand up to the blind that she'd been looking at. No, <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> how, like, I'm just thinking about how funny that's gonna be. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, 
I'm asking if you really think this room is the only crime in this case, crime scene in this case. Oh, there's... Oh, out the window, yeah, for sure. She kept her eyes on the exposed window. Well, whatever it was, is probably long gone by now. I'm guessing the Pokecoms are explained in uh, robotics notes. As she tossed from a Pokecom, she fished out of her pocket. Shinjo grabbed it without thinking and looked down at it. <sighs> he was stunned. It was footage of the room he was in right now. That was probably Kakita, dead, and Arimura Hinai. What is this? A video that was just uploaded to the web? Her answer made Shinjo feel pissed off at everything, including himself. Why didn't he notice? Why do you have to be shown this by a girl who we just met? From outside the window? Huh. Her voice does sound familiar, Olga. It absolutely does. Is this Angie from Uminako? Is this fucking Angie from Uminako? Is this the same is this the same voice actor? He grabbed onto the window frame, looked for the spot where the video had been recorded from. But all he saw was the external wall of the building, slick with rain. There was only some kind of strange creepy sticker there. Can the stickers I, w I do wonder if the stickers, like, are part of a rudimentary version of whose eyes are those eyes type of thing, like, of being able to observe anything. Hey! Hey! Shinjo yelled out into the hallway. The officer outside heard the tone of his voice from Russian side. Shinjo pointed at the window and said, Shikyu Hello, Liz. Welcome to the stream. I'm so sorry. I had the announcement uh, on the Discord a while ago that we're starting uh, earlier. Hello, welcome to the stream, Liz. But yeah, uh, the streams are starting at an earlier time because I was able to work something out to uh, both get you guys the streams and uh, get me a better sleep schedule. Seal off the building next door right now and give me forensics. And then track down where this video. Is, is, is it. Okay, so it's not. It's not. She sounded very similar to Angie from Uineko. Okay, so it's not her. No, I don't know about the video, but you're probably not going to find anything next door. There's no sign of a camera having been placed on that wall. Eh? Huh? Huh? I copied the data at the security entrance, and Frieja's team is going over it. But we're probably not going to find anything. We'd better not. She must have been enjoying this, because Kanazato's frown twisted from a mischievous bully's into a mischievous bully's expression. <sighs> I 
again, he didn't understand. He didn't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. He ignored her and ordered his men to seal the building, call forensics, and track down where the video was filmed. With that finish, he turned back to her. Is that why you were late? Oh, yeah, so literally, meanwhile, yeah, this happened. Focus on securing the scene. That channel picked up on this video right after it was posted. And it was uploaded only 40 minutes ago. Suddenly, more than 5,000 people have already seen it. You don't think any of them are with those media people down below? Wait, you can't! Oh, shit. This is Watabe with Nikonia News. I'd like your comment on. I'm with Kayori TV. I'd like to ask you about. Get out, no pictures. He could hear yelling come from the hallway. Damn it. That never reporter again. Oh, I wonder if she's, um, she runs the Shibuya News website. I bet, oh, I just realized, she seems super smart. I bet if, I I wonder if she runs the uh, Shibuya News website. I bet she does. Ginger ran out into the hallway in fury. <laughs> Are you with Section 1? Did you see the video? Please don't come in without permission. We have no comment. Yeah, I think she might be K. Yeah. No pushing. Did you see it? Or not? No comment. <sighs> Kunisato was still looking outside the window as she listened to the commotion in the hallway. She stuck her hands in her pockets and star stared at the sticker on the opposite wall, the way the person on top of a tall building stares down at the tiny people in the streets below. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Does she know who it is? Hey. How does it feel? <laughs> Sticker picture two ugly overlapping faces. The rain made it look like they were crying. <laughs> Oh, she might know who does the stickers. Huh. If there was any witness, it was you, right? Kunisata smirked like a fighter facing down a worthy opponent. October 2nd, 2015, Friday. Time passed. It was now almost midnight. Under a bridge in Shibuya. Oh, are we going to have another murder? Oh, no. Strange face. She walked with her head down so others couldn't see her strange face. This was the lady walking in the prologue. She was dragging her leg. Yep, so her body tilted a little. Who is this, I wonder? She didn't 
to have an umbrella so the rain had fallen that fall that evening made her long bangs cling to her forehead. Water dripped off of them. The eerie eyes that poked out from between her locks of hair looked like those of an animal hunting its prey. No one was moving but her. Normally there would be people here at this hour. But the town left her alone, as if it had sent something. She disappeared into an alley without anyone else noticing her. It was several minutes later when they appeared there. Ooh, oh my god. Is that... That can't be! That can't be Shogun! Uh, he died. Uh, girl, less than ten years old, and old. Oh, it was old woman, well over seventy. Okay, she just looks very similar. Oh my God, are we in another situation? Is it a girl this time? That uh, okay. So, oh, hey, Liz. To be fair. She's like the clothes are very similar. <laughs> and a woman, old woman, well over 70. I wonder. Oh, I wonder if she also created um, a delusionary person. The old woman might have been blind because she carried a stick and had her hand on the girl's shoulder. I wonder if she is the delusionary copy? Or could it be someone else? And the little girl was carrying something far too big for her tiny frame. Neither of them were carrying umbrellas, and both were soaking wet. They walked at a slow pace. Yeah, you also thought it was Shogun Olga. It wasn't me only me. Perhaps they knew the path well, or perhaps they simply didn't care, because they paid no attention to anything around them. And then, for the first time, the little girl saw something and stopped. The old woman stopped as well, and the only sound in the alley was the sound of the rain. The girl stood there for a full minute. Eventually, she turned her head and led the older woman away. All that was left there was the rain. And the things on the wall. Okay, so yeah, the limp, the, the, the limping girl is the one putting the stickers on the... Doing it rather quickly. <laughs> A video of the scene has been passed around on the internet. The footage in question shows the body of a man who committed suicide in a love hotel. It was past midnight. All the news programs were talking about that video that had been uploaded to the internet that, uh, that afternoon. Since there was a dead body in the video, none of the programs were actually playing it, but the newscasters had all described it. It was as if they were telling people to watch the rest on the web. <laughs> Which means that people who are just hearing about this now will be looking at the internet, huh? Tweepo was the best way to see what people were saying in any given moment. I opened it and looked, took a look. Where can you see the thing that they're talking about on TV? This is getting exciting. Link. Oh, yeah, link at, at, at wiki. 
I saw it, but I should have known better than to watch it this late at night. Someone tell me a funny joke or something. That's about what I expected. Whenever I searched for a keyword related to the case, I found tons of tweeps. Tweeps. <laughs> about the video and the news broadcast. The address of any page or aggregator site hosting the video was getting retweeted at an incredible rate. Of course, this was nothing new. Our channel had already been in festival mode since the video had first been posted that evening. The videos on the aggregator wiki had been quickly deleted, but someone had saved it and uploaded it to a bunch of other sites. Those sites had deleted it too, so others had repeated the process ad nauseum. After the news, the thread on our channel had gotten bigger. <laughs> Revolving dead, huh? That sounds like what they're going it's gonna go, going to be what they call it. I didn't know who's first come up with that name, but more and more people on that channel were using it. It was probably a play on the revolving bed the body had been found on. Since the body had been spinning too. The case was literally about the revolving dead. Our channel, Tweepo, and all the aggregator sites and pages dealing with the case were in an uproar. I looked around and didn't see any new information. I had seen it in person myself. I could easily tell when someone was lying or guessing. <laughs> It's past midnight. What about this? <sighs> there were no big updates on Shibuya News either. The top of the page was about the uploaded video, but it was basically just a rehash of existing information. Takudu, you gotta stop doom scrolling and get some rest. I thought that with all this fuss, she'd be putting on a web radio broadcast. But maybe she was busy. Yeah, it's gotta be her. It's gotta be her. There was nothing about the sumo stickers or Aramura song. Which made sense, I guess. Even Kaysan wasn't psychic. Only we in the police knew about Aramura song, and only we knew about the stickers. The sumo stickers. Damn it. I did plan to check and see if there was a sticker around the scene of audio bleed today. Anata Korosare Masio Miyashiro Takura Senpai. Y'all are gonna be killed. Miyashiro Takura Senpai. I couldn't get the word she'd whispered out of my head. In the end, it had started raining, and I'd gone with Ito's plan of trying to get more information about the video and learn more about orimura san I hadn't made much progress with either. Of course, it had surprised me that Kurusu... <sighs> That Caruso hadn't said anything. What did she mean by I'm going to be killed? The question came back to me again for the hundredth time, and I still had no answer. What was she warning me about? Why she told me I was going to be killed? Had I pissed her off somehow? No, it felt more like she was talking about someone else killing me. And maybe it didn't matter if she hated me or not. And the timing didn't make sense either. 
We weren't talking about anything weird. We were just talking about the case. Was she telling me that if I kept looking into this, I would be killed? But that didn't make sense either. The police had ruled the death at the Love Hotel as suicide. It was a strange way to kill yourself, sure, and after seeing it, I couldn't believe it was just a simple suicide, but... Did that mean Kakita had been murdered after all? Murdered by whoever had tried to come into the room? But the police had told me I'd been mistaken. And Ito had told me I couldn't prove it logically. <sighs> ah, damn it. It was no good. It didn't make any sense. I was going to be killed. Had I crossed some line? You're going to be killed, Miyashiro Takuru. I tried saying it aloud and shiv shivered a little. Was I scared or... <laughs> Was I excited? Oh! My god, do you have like a death wish or something? Jeez. I could feel myself starting to laugh. That was fine. That was just fine with me. If I'd crossed some line, I'd find out what it was. That was the difference between me and those morons on the internet. I could do it. I had lots of clues. The first was Arimura Hina herself. And then... The sumo stickers. I'd only seen them at two of the crime scenes so far. But if I could find one at Audio Bleed 2, I'd have a clue that no one else in the world had. I should go take a look tomorrow. And then... There was that video that had gotten uploaded to the internet. Who had upped it and why? Huh? Hmm? Did he notice something? I played the video one more time, then realized something. So Wait a second. Why? Here too. It was a common thing you found in video, so I'd never really noticed until now, but... What, did he find a watermark? I hadn't seen any comments on the internet saying anything about it either, but... Why did they use this effect? Oh, there was like a blur effect? There was something weird at the start and end of the video. It was on screen for less than a second, but at the start, the image appeared from bottom to top. Oh. It's some kind of secret message. And then at the end... Oh my god, it's like an eye blinking. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it's the view from the sumo post sticker. Oh. It's like blinking an eye. So it is like uh, whose eyes are those eyes, but like a more limited version. It went black from top to bottom. Creepy. These weren't particularly unusual effects. The one at the start was often used in TV shows and movies when a character woke up. So there, yeah, it's basically a mass surveillance type thing. Of course, this was when the camera was showing his point of view. The one at the end was often used when a character was falling asleep. 
Oh, just before they passed out. Sometimes you could play both at high speeds to make it look like someone was blinking. It was called a wipe. It was a method of transitioning video from one image to another. Huh? Huh? This video was clearly taken from next to the Love Hotel, and almost perfectly at eye level. From the distance and angle, that much was clear. The sumo stickers are alive! I spent so much time looking through a camera that I knew how to judge the distance between it and the things I saw. He's gonna calculate it. I was sure that if I asked the rest of the newspaper club, they'd agree. But the side of the building where this video was taken was a sheer wall. I could see that for myself in the video I'd taken. The only things I could see outside the window were a wall and the sticker. The uploaded video looked like it had been taken from someone's eyes. Whose eyes are those eyes? <gasps> Suddenly a dumb idea occurred to me. I looked at the picture of the sticker on the wall that had printed out. Oh shit. Oh shit. He really did? Oh no. Nah. Ha ha ha. What balderdash. Oh, I shook my head to drive away that stupid delusion. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. I needed to stay calm and logical. It's not like that center eye between the two sumo faces is going to open up and scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Tomorrow I could go see where the camera had probably been placed. Uh oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. Another jump scare. We're gonna get jump scared. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no! Don't jump scare me! Yep. Alright, they're preparing this. Oh, my God. Why? 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 Why did it have to have the baby crying sound? Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck? Ah! Why did it have to have the baby crying sound? Why? That was scary as shit. Oh, oh, this is the this is the culprit, Amitan. What the fuck, Amitan? Ed Lucas, pilot of test images, friends of Shibuya, continue to monitoring the situation and the target. Close enough to kill. Oh no. Nishiro Takuru at any time. Chapter 2 Sumo Sticker, the cases cry their name. Oh, we've actually reached Chapter 2. Oh shit, yep. <laughs> yeah, that was a huge Chapter 1. My god. Is, are, are there 10 chapters like in Chaos Head or are there less? Oh my god. Why did it have to have the baby crying sound? Why? And who is this murderer? There's more? Oh wow, this is a long game, but hey. You know what that means? More time with Takadu and Serika. Eleven chapters and they're all pretty long? Hell the fuck yeah, Olga. I am really with that. I am really all in with that. Oh god, why did I have to have the baby crying sound? That was way too creepy. <laughs> if you ask me, all the people in my class were ignorant children. I'm assuming this is Takadu. When I was in fourth grade, only about one in six kids had a smartphone. Yeah. Wow, they would even let that many kids in elementary school have a smartphone? God damn. 
bunch of them will use their phones during breaks to pull up secret web pages made by the kids at school or dump joke sites. They'd pass them around the class to become the center of attention, and each would be the leader of their own little group. So this Ed Lucas, whoever that is, seems to be the murderer. Oh boy. One day, one of those leaders was upset because he couldn't visit a site he'd been able to access the day before. Some of the kids in his group suggested that it was broken or maybe the address had changed. I told him, it's internal content filtering. Your parents contacted the cell phone company to limit your online access. The leader looked stunned for a moment, then he yelled at me not to make stuff up. Well, that's dumb. What an asshole. The rest of the group joined in. Oh, Takuru. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Takuru. Those kids were being such assholes to you. You weren't even saying anything even remotely mean. I knew I was right. I wasn't making anything up. It's not like you said it in a bad way, either. I didn't understand why they were all yelling. Later, I realized I was the class misfit, and he was the boss of his little group, and he didn't like that I had shown him up. Damn, you were just trying to help. I only went to school once in a while, but when I did, something like that always happened. God, you... Damn it, I, I'm out of touch with this freaking Zoomer generation and you guys having cell phones in school. <laughs> like, I, I'm too old for that to have been a thing. I didn't get a cell phone that I would want to take in school until fucking, like, uh, graduate school. Damn. Like, I had, I, had a, I had a flip phone for a long time in college. And I didn't get, like, a true smartphone until... Uh, uh, I think the la my last year of college, it was the uh, Sidekick 2 was my first smartphone out and out, I, whatever that, whatever year that came out. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it was, it was incredible. Like being able to go on the internet when uh, and wherever you want it. I was sick of it. I wanted to show the rest of the class I was better than they were. Oh, well, that's not a nice thing, Takuru. I wanted to shock all those wrong siders. Oh, oh, Olga, I answered the question right out before you said it, I think. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my first uh, smartphone. I forget what year that came out, though. I loved the sidekick phone because um, because it has it had a physical keyboard with actual physical buttons. I I if if they actually came out with something like that again, that a, a phone with like a physical keyboard. Oh, I do not remember my first flip phone, Olga. I don't remember what time it was at all. My parents gave it to me, and I didn't really use it at all except to to contact them and shit like that. When I snuck inside, I found a place full with true darkness, unlike any I'd ever experienced. I could hear a gasp behind me. Snuck inside what? I saw I saw that. You're okay. Oh, Serica. Baby Serica. Where are you guys going? Oh, is this like... Oh. Serica didn't answer. She just clung to me as if seeking escape from the darkness around us. Should we go home? Serica quickly shook her head. 
Oh yeah, but that's I I don't like how tiny the keys are in the BlackBerry. I don't like those. I like the sliding ones, like the sidekick was. Serica quickly shook her head. Ami chan. That's okay. We still haven't found any clues about Ami chan. And. I don't want to be in that house. You too. Right, Taku? <laughs> I thought for a second and nodded. For her, that was probably the real reason. Okay, let's go. Serica nodded back, but even in the darkness, I could see that her lips were quiver quivering. She was scared. Lucky. Maybe I'm lucky. Are they in like some kind of hospital? What I wanted in this situation wasn't a brave comrade who would go boldly forward with me, but a friend who would shiver pathetically behind my back. No matter what happened, I had to protect Serica. God! <laughs> but at the same time, it's kind of an unhealthy way to think about it. It's like, are you using her? To, to feel better about yourself because you're looking down on her but still um, that's sweet in its own way having her there made me feel better like that I brought my focus back to what was going on around me and started to softly walk forward oh shit what the fuck Yes, yeah, so that was a flashback to some crazy ass experiment. I woke up from the usual dream. See, so he was dream. That's a dream that, he, like, a nightmare he has or something. For once, I hadn't been sweating in my sleep. In fact, I felt better than usual. Okay. Get that sumo sticker. Okay, you got it off. Good. I booted up the PC, checked my email, then loaded all the major newspaper and news sites up at once. It was how I usually started my morning. I felt extremely alert. I could probably finish my usual routine in less than an hour. Yes, that's right. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, what happened last night? God, I really want to know what happens. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm loving this story so much. I just am. Seriously. I won't give up halfway like I did before. This time, the mystery I needed to solve was right in front of me. Did he fail to solve a mystery in the past? I really want to know, like, why did he feel he needed to be better than other people? Oh, Hatsune Miku, what are you saying? Oh, boy. Oh, I know, this is the voice that's used for, like, Yukuri, uh, Toho characters. 
This is not Hatsune Miku. Have you ever seen this sticker? Gaito. On a street light. On an abandoned phone booth. On the back of a mailbox. Somebody graffitied the sticker. Or on road signs. You can find them anywhere in town. Alright, what is the What is the official name? These strange stickers, which look like the faces of two fat men overlapping, are called Oh, the same. Okay. Sumo stickers. I thought they were gonna have like a real name for him. The first time people started talking about them was back in 2007. I am so glad that the story is so long. Because seriously, I just, I'm, I, I just feel like I'm going to be so sad when it's over. Oh man. The more time I can get with Takuru and Seraka, the better. The first time people started talking about them was back in 2007. They were big enough that at one point people were talking about them on TV. After the 2009 Shibuya earthquake, everyone just stopped talking about them, but... Lately, they've started appearing around Shibuya again. This was found yesterday, for example. At first, these stickers may appear to have been put up at random. But they actually all have something in common. This. This. And this. Yeah. These three stickers were found near the sites of the bizarre deaths that the whole city's been talking about. This was put up on the karaoke box opposite the apartment where Don't Look took place. This was put up on a streetlight near Audio, please. This was put up on the Love Hotel opposite the scene of Revolving Dead. That's right. All of these were placed near the scenes of the deaths. Some of you may think this is just a coincidence, but... Don't look and revolving dead. It appears they get put up there by some kind of... Like, not by conventional means. Especially with the limping girl... Like, she put up, like, freaking a hundred of them in two seconds, like that. Took place in a fifth-story condo and the third story of a love hotel. And both of these stickers were placed high up on the fifth and third floors of the buildings opposite them, as if they were looking down on the scene.
、音漏れたんのシールも同様です。現場を見渡せる街灯に貼ってありました。オーディオプリートは違いない。それは街灯のスリートライトを見上げて、シーン。果たして、これは偶然でしょうか Is this really just a coincidence? このシールの作者は誰なのか Who created these stickers? 一体何の目的で貼られているのか Why are they being put up? そして一連の事件と何か関係しているのか And do they have anything to do with all these strange deaths? 引き続き調査を進めていきたいと思います。We'll continue our investigation. Who's, who's, who's recording this? With AI voice, next speech. Finally. Don't look took place on September 7th. There's like a recap here. Audio bleed took place on September 19th. Revolving Dead took place on September 29th. Have you all noticed that these three incidents took place on the same dates as the first three New Generation Madness killings six years ago? ここれってまだ俺たちしか見てないってことだよな。Views 5. That means no one but us has seen it yet, right? I choose. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> somebody, somebody dressed up as Hatsune Miku. <laughs> And they made a meme of it too here. してから24時間も経ってないけどさ。Well, we haven't had it up for more than 24 hours, but. んおい、同じ渋谷タグで素人が適当に特集した連続不審火の動画は100超えてるぞ Hey, here's another video tag Shibuya that's just amateur reporting on those arson cases, and it's got over 100 views. オカルト板の噂まとめ動画なんて3000超えてんじゃん。Wait, this video is just a compilation of some rumors off the occult board and got over 3000! 渋谷で生活していると、渋谷自身で死んだ者の霊が取り付き、不思議な力が手に入る。こんなので If you live in Shibuya, the ghosts of the people who died in the earthquake will possess you and give you strange powers. This really got 3,000 views! Ugh. Oh. Hey, are you listening? Uh. Yes. I don't feel so good. I tried my hardest to avoid looking at it directly, but screwed up. So, I'm not sure what I'm saying. These stickers creep you up that much. I'm not sure what I'm saying. They're really creepy. So, I'm not sure what I'm saying. Well, they're certainly not what I'd call cute. Oh, my God. 日頃からグロ画像とか見慣れてるからだろ。You look at gory pics all the time, so you're used to this stuff, right? You maniac. <laughs> いや
それとは関係ないだろう。No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I raised my head off the desk. Just me, so it makes it easy to eat. Snap it in half and enjoy the delicious crab. Buy here. Sponsored by Walton Crabs and Cold. And see. It's cold as winter, but the internet's just fine. See. Ito is perfect. I was slaying. Displaying the news video we'd made and uploaded to Nick O'Neill last night. The one about the sumo stickers. The thumbnail was a close up of that stick. You really have to define what the thumbnail is? Really, you're, you're defining a thumbnail to the people who went to Steam or online and downloaded a video game called Chaos Child, which is takes place in the smack dab in the middle of the science adventure series. Like, ah. Uh, God. Thumbnail was a close up of that sticker. I do wonder if it just if it just needs to be the image. Oh god. It's gonna do it again. Or like it like the stickers itself. Here we go. Why does it have to have the fucking baby crying? Uh. Damn it! Calm down! It was just a hallucination. You imagined it. You looked again and it wasn't there. Saga! Yay! I'm back! Hey, what's wrong, Taku? Yeah. Nothing. I almost jumped out of my chair when the door opened. I turned around and saw Serica frowning. Yes! It's nothing. What's that? She was right. I had spent all of lunchtime going around the school taking videos of the preparations for the fair, so I could have this time to use as I pleased. I'd missed lunch. What a pain. Hi, Shin-chan was a coffee Good, Shin Chan. Ham sandwich and milk coffee. Oh, thank you. Cool, thanks. Takua Kadori Brock to Mountain View. Yoko Akinai, ne? Takua gets a calorie block in a mountain view. I don't know why you don't get tired of this stuff, Taku. Oh, the negative one here is awesome, Mr. Cool. Welcome to the stream. Oh, goddammit. it. Stop hassling me about it. This is the most effective way to get a balanced diet. Oh, I can go back and do the negative? Okay, sure, I will. Okay. I see both Olga and Mr. Cool are telling me, so yeah, I will I will absolutely do it afterward. Alright, sure. Yaki soba, salmon rice balls, cream bread. Chocolate and to grape fruits Where do you put it all? A chocolate cornet, bean jam bun, and a grapefruit for me. I got a name Purina. Joshi, that all. You've got the world's most inefficient metabolism. You're a girl, right? Joshi, that all. I am, yes. Why? Don't make that. Why are you asking face at me? Sarah could grab the team, the cream bread off the master pile of food in front of her. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's eat. 
She chomped down on her bread. I think I read in the in the guide, which is a completely spoiler free, by the way. So don't worry about that. That uh, I think you get all the delusions automatically by uh, just getting all the roots. Since I think the delusions matter a lot more in this game, for which roots you get. Like the your, your first root will always be the common ending, is what I heard. She focused only on devouring her meal and ignore what everyone else around her might be thinking. Was she really a girl? Tch. I was worried a little watching her. She's thinking a little more about how she looked to others. <coughs> she chomped down so hard the cream inside the bread flew out and stuck to the edge of her lip. <laughs> Out. Oh. Oh. Ito's demeanor suddenly changed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> huh, it's all sticky. I wonder if Taku would come here and lick it off. What? I will, will, I will. Instead of wiping it away, she kept eating her bread. With every bite she took, her lips got dirtier and dirtier. Oh, he is so in love with her. He can't help but ima- Oh, yeah. <laughs> that it's so good. Strangely, I found myself unable to look away. Why was I staring at her mouth like this? You to think that I never really stared at someone's mouth when they were eating, especially a girl's. Her plump lips and the way her pink tongue darted around her mouth as she looked away the white cream seemed strangely arousing. <laughs> he does not realize that he's in love with her, and I think that is too adorable. Oh my god. You don't think that way about people that are just your friends. Hitaku-shin-chan, you're both staring at me. Is something wrong? Oh, yeah. No. It's any nothing. Ito, get out of my delusion. Both Ito and I looked away. Why did I feel a little excited? Hmm. Huh? So, so much more you, Anyway, wipe your mouth. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Okay then. Taku? Yes! Taku? You like it. Like, even the horny delusions that Taku gets are just more sweet and adorable. And I really love him for it. Like, Taku's. Even when Taku's delusions are like this, they make you like him more instead of kind of wanting to him to stop. Because it's just framed differently, and I really do appreciate it. Huh? Taku, you like it. Oh my god, I, I can't believe she actually said that. <laughs> it's what I was saying earlier. Huh? Serika grinned a little and walked right in front of me and brought her head close. <laughs> I want you to like away the white cream on my lips. I'd make me all clean with your tongue. It's sweet and delicious. Dakara. 
So, do it? Please? Stop it! That's not like it's a kiss. Come on. Her soft lips were right in front of me. They smelled like cream. She said it wasn't a kiss, but... Wouldn't licking it away be naughtier than a kiss? Okay, I'll do it instead. Ito, I will I'll, I will murder you. What? Hey! I no, always no, says it's okay, don't stop me. You bastard! When I imagined him licking Serika's lips, I felt really, really, really annoyed. I even felt like I was going to throw up. I wonder why. Yamero. Stop it! Hello, Nagi Tono. Welcome to the stream. I offered her a tissue. Just wipe it away. Taku. Taku. Oh my god, Taku is so fucking adorable. Seriously, he is the sweetest sweetie of sweetness. Oh my god. Oh, oh you're no fun. Shut up. What was going on here? This was like one of those sex circles. <laughs> what the heck? I sometimes read about in Cool Cat Press. This wasn't the Hegio Academy newspaper club. Taku, I'm sorry. Did that really bother you? Then... Serika scraped the cream off her lips with her finger. I'll make you lick it instead. Huh? She jabbed her finger into my mouth. It was so sudden that it scared me a little, but I licked the cream off her finger without thinking. The taste of sweet cream spread throughout my mouth. Is it good? <laughs> <clears throat> she pulled her finger out of my mouth and then she stared at it then she glanced at me and grinned it's all sticky with your saliva where did I get that from? <laughs> oh my god Taku I think, seriously, Taku is so... Oh, fuck you. Yeah, right. Mr. Denial is not just a river in Egypt. Serika wasn't that sexy to begin with. Well, that was more perverted than sexy. Were men just really vulnerable to girls like that? Was I? <laughs> but as for Serika... It's so good! As I watched her happily chow down on her ice cream bread, I decided the chances of her ever turning into brain dead pervert like the one I just imagined were near zero. Unfortunately. Serika was still a little girl. She's the same age as you, you ask. Seriously. She probably never even fallen in love. I can't believe you even think of think think that. I felt a little superior. I will do the negative, I will, I will. As soon as it Okay, let's see. Uh, now I can go back and do the negative. Where's the auto saves? Uh, where, where, where is the auto saves?
What is lock data? I'm guessing that has to do with the roots. Oh, go to quick load? Okay. Oh, it's it's this one, right? And a zero one. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's this one. Cause this is chapter two. So yeah. All right. All right. Let, all right. Everybody says the negative for this is really good. What is that? Oh, Shin-chan Oh, locked data is at this point, so that won't be saved. Okay. It makes sure it doesn't, it's not saved over. That's cool. Oh, thank you. Alright. Right. Here we go. Alright, wait a Hey, wait a second! Ito suddenly became very upset. He slammed his hands down on the table and stood up. <laughs> this isn't a ham sandwich, it's a tuna sandwich! Uh, really? Huh? Really? This is the most important story delusion in the game? Wow, why is he all of a sudden acting like a stereotypical, like, abusive husband here? Like, the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I asked for a ham sandwich! Oh, that's strange. I was sure I brought you one. Go get me a new one right now. Eh? Oh, Who cares? Oh, okay. It's it's just funny. Okay. Okay, it's not okay. Okay. It's not important story, it's just funny. But that's still cool. There is not that much difference between a ham sandwich and a tuna sandwich. Well, I mean, there is, but they're both nice. Huh? Jeez. Huh? The hell did you just say, whore? You like tuna sandwiches? They're good. <laughs> what the hell is No one cares about your goddamn tuna sandwich! Today I feel like a ham sandwich! Well, if it's not important to you, go get one yourself. I was nice enough to get you a sandwich, so there's no reason for you to get mad at me! Because you're the dumb one who screwed it up! Ito, calm down. Just a sandwich. There's no need to get so upset. It is not just a sandwich! I tried to move between them and Ito struck me in the chest. Oh! He hit me hard enough to knock me to the ground. What was that for? Shut up, Miyashiro! No one cares about your dumb ass! Oh, are they gonna, like, fight over her? I never liked Ono's attitude anyway. She always spends her time fussing over you and then making fun of me. I do not. What the hell is your problem? Well, Serika would never say that. God, you're stupid. Why don't you just slit your wrists and die? What'd you say? Ito ran over to her. I thought he was going to hit her, but he didn't. I thought so too. 
Oh my god. He put both his hands around her neck and started to squeeze. Freddy was gonna die, it's you, bitch. Go get me my motherfucking ham sandwich. Who the hell wants to get me to eat a tuna sandwich? I will straight up fucking murder you if you don't give me that sandwich! <laughs> Ito had totally lost control. He was staring at Serika with bloodshot eyes. Nah, Come on, stop it. Why are you fighting over a ham sandwich anyway? You'll end up killing Ono if you keep that up. <laughs> Takuru has a very vivid imagination. Serika moaned in pain. She was flailing her arms and legs trying to escape his grasp, but he was a lot stronger than she was. Takuri, you gotta save her! Drool oozed out of the sides of her lips. <laughs> Stop it, Ito! <laughs> I said shut up! Try to stop me and I'll kill you too! Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Talker, you gotta save her! And suddenly her body started to spasm. Her eyes rolled up into her head and her body went limp. She's dead. Ito let go and she fell to the floor like a puppet with the strings cut. Oh, there's, there's another famous phrase. You're kidding me. <laughs> I can't believe he... <laughs> I can't... This, this would be horrifying if it wasn't an illusion. <laughs> She's dead! Oh no, it's dead! That's what you get for messing with my ham sandwich! That's what you get! <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? It was like an episode of the. It was like a. That reminded me of like a sketch from like the Boondocks or something. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Grudges over food can be scary. Huh? Uh, you say something, Miyashiro? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Ito cooked his head to me a little as he ate his ham sandwich, not tuna sandwich. Is that a ham sandwich? I'm not giving you any. Oh my god. Taku should be an author. He, he should. He should write books. <laughs> He's very creative. Fine, I don't want to start any fights. Huh? Huh? <laughs> as for Serika, she was pestering Kazuki as she played a game. Eh? Come on, tell me, Hana-chan! Who are you talking to? Tell me, tell me! Mm -hmm. She was certainly relaxed. But in the real world, danger could strike at any minute. Me, Serika, and Ito could die at any time for any reason. Why was I thinking about something so gloomy while the sun was still out? Was I tired? No, no. 
Hey, Onoe. Ito said to Serika. For some reason, that was enough to startle me. Where's the vice president? Uh, huh. Serika froze. Um, tomorrow I don't know. I don't think she'll be here today. She's busy getting ready for the festival. So then, Nanka Nunchan, Konoida got a hen on there, eh? Ginky nine da. And Nunchan's been kind of weird lately. She doesn't look like she's doing too good. I wonder what's wrong. She whispered. By lately, she probably meant after she met Arimura san. Oh my god, the sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. The delusion mechanic is, I would say, a lot that are utilized here. They really, yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see the other negative ones. It feels so much less pandery, I gotta say. Uh, it's like, it's just a lot more entertaining, I would say, the delusions. It was true that after that, she'd given up on telling me not to follow the case. By the way, thanks to that, I'd been able to focus on the case without being interrupted. Since she'd met Arimura's son, huh? It's Nightheart. HD Nightheart. Okay, we can talk while we eat. Let's get started, Kazuki. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, it is. ESO2, literally. <laughs> can you close out of ESO2 for a second? We're going over the info on the case. It looks like uh, either Black Desert or Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, look at that ancient uh, freaking uh, inkjet printer here. Sounds. <laughs> she may have been waiting for something to spawn, or maybe it was just at a good stopping point. Because she quit the game with much less cajoling than I'd expected. She started to print out data from the PC. Now then, there was a lot of new information. Oh, you think it's probably started uh, styled after Fantasy Star Online? Mr. Cool, thanks. Hey, yeah, you're in the Twitch chat now, Mr. Cool, thanks. <laughs> There was a lot of new information, but I spent so much time making the video that the board was the same way it had, it had been. It was time to go over it. First, I should start with what I can't can't put on the map. Oh no, Nagitona! I agree. The negative ones are really great foreshadowing in Chaos Head. Absolutely. The negative ones, yeah, definitely. In Chaos Head were really good. Space on the right is open. Let's start by putting the stuff that we still don't know a lot about there. True, Burarian? What do you mean? Look. <laughs> You know, like that video. So, um, I see. Okay, man. Ito forced himself to swallow what he was eating. The ham sandwich. Let's put any up any videos that might have something to do with the case here. Yes, that's the way to go. 
えっとじゃああのまとめ雪に突然貼られた動画はラブホテルの中を外から撮ったやつだから Alright, so the video that was uploaded to the wiki was footage of the inside of their love hotel room taken from the outside, so. Alright, oh, here it is. Okay. And here's the summary. It's because of this video, isn't it? That I had this, that weird hallucination. It wasn't it was just a plain old wife. So why did it seem so strange? Uncle, what's wrong? Toku, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> just listen for now, okay? Okay. Um, where was I? Jeez. Ito, Kono Doga. Kekuk, Matome Wiki, Harizketa, Ningen, Tetskamatena in them. Ito, they never caught the guy who uploaded the video, right? Ah, Netoja Shumatsu, Kanari Matsuri Nattakedona. Terebidum Hodo Saretakara. Yeah, there was a big festival online over the weekend, though, since it got reported on TV. That's right. People on the internet like to make fun of TV and newspapers, but the biggest cause of online festivals is mainstream media attention. But there's been no updates, which means nothing new to talk about for three days. Is it dying out? Given the nature of what happened, it won't die out fast, but uh... Oh, there was that thing with SafeWorks on the weekend too, right? Huh? Oh no, I don't know what he means. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Swallow some of my own spit. Sorry. Oh no. I'm going to sound like an ignorant wrong sider if I don't get it what he's talking about. Uh, quick, uh, talk to make something up. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that thing, of course. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That thing. I definitely read about it. <laughs> what do you mean? Shut up! Hoshin was Fuku Jigio no Chushin to not the Kigio Daro. Fukon Tokini Majijuni Harimigura Sarada Kansh Kamera no Setchini Mukande Rask says, ha. SafeWorks, the biggest company involved with the rebuilding work, right? They're also involved with those security cameras going up all over town. Sorini privacy of Shingai Sarada the Yuhitoga Ichamon Skete. Somebody started complaining about how the cameras were an invasion of privacy, and this guy at SafeWorks acted like an arrogant dick. I think there was actually a lawsuit filed this morning. Yes, yes, that happens all the time. So people are str starting to talk about that. I see, so that was it. People are starting to say the video was a prank or a fake. And the majority that think it's real are shutting them down. So it was self feeding then? Either way, without fresh fuel, it would eventually have to go out. Well, I understand why people would think it's a prank or a fake. But after having been there, I knew it wasn't. 
That's right. I should put up the video of the room, too. Kazuki, Lab Hotel no doga, take to any kiddas to Kirika. Kazuki, can you edit out something for the Love Hotel video for me? Mm. Okay, that's all. Ato Ichio Koremona. Oh, I guess this too. What? Our video? Why was he putting that up there? Why? You don't need to put the newspaper club's video. That's right. It's creepy. See? Even the self-proclaimed girl says so. Taku, you can be a dick sometimes. I don't know what might be related to the case, right? And these stickers might be the key, right? Uh, maybe, but... Uh... It's weird because he respects K. <laughs> Listen, they aren't even as creepy as you're making them out to be. Come on, I'm putting them up. <laughs> oh yeah, he's still spooked out by the sumo stickers. Damn it. You can only say that because you haven't seen it with its eye open. Well, it hadn't actually opened. Dagger. <laughs> Jeez, are you a girl? I'm a guy. <laughs> fine, fine. Yeah, it's funny because Taku is just so in denial about his own feelings. It's it's kind of hilarious. Nagitona. There were a lot of sumo stickers in the other images anyway. I shouldn't let it bother me. But I was going to avoid looking at them directly too much. Alright, we put what we got on the, on the stickers up on the board, but... The long distance shot of the sumo sticker looking down on the don't look case was... I believe it was this one. Th I think this was audio for you to say, yeah. Sorry, what? What's that? Dixie Seed of Harate Tatokoro no Hikino Gazo. A shot of where the sumo sticker was put up. Yeah, Soria Media Bavagar. Sorry, Gado Castanoga. Well, I've been wondering ever since I found the thing. How did they get it up there? This is the fourth floor. Hello, Zash. Welcome to the stream. Didn't they just open the window and lean out? These windows don't open. I really want to hear more about like his past with um with both Nono and Sarika. I I like him protecting Sarika is very sweet. 
like like their whole childhood thing. I really want to learn more about that. I assume that was during the earthquake or something, or, or or during their time at the orphanage, or something like. Maybe it was like a creepy orphanage that did experiments on them, like to make them into artificial gigalomaniacs or something. Oh, that's right. You went to do karaoke alone, didn't you? <laughs> it wasn't karaoke alone. I didn't sing. What about the other incidents? Ito ignored my protest and motioned for me to continue. Damn it, it wasn't karaoke alone. <laughs> I Next is audio bleed, I guess. Oh, wait, we don't have a sumo sticker for this one yet. When I got to the scene two days ago on Sunday, I found a sticker on a nearby telephone pole, just like I'd expected. Close-up footage of it is the one I use for the newspaper club video, so... Yep, it was this one. Oh, it really was creepy up close. Don't look at it, don't look at it. So yeah, I, I do wonder if like how the sumo sticker works is like, um, it, does it have to be like the actual stickers? Or would even a picture of the sticker work the same way the sticker does? That's that's my question. And the long range photo of it is. Anybody want want you could put that sticker up there. But The long range photo for the sumo sticker for Revolving Dead is It's this one is Revolving Dead. That's a completely separate one. This was on an outside wall, too. There's a window, but it's way out of reach. So? That's probably true. Yep, definitely true, Sarika. That. Yeah? Couldn't you stick it on the edge of a long pole or something and push it against the wall? Has she already finished eating all that? Well, you could probably, but you couldn't do that at the karaoke box, could you? <laughs> that wasn't the answer I was looking for. Burping has nothing to do with this murder. Uh, I eat a little too much. Uh, what if you had a really, really long pole? They'd see you doing it. Then you could dress up like the building janitor or something. First a long pole and then that. Well, it's possible, I guess. Oh. What's wrong? 
こんだけ異常な事件なのに棒の先っぽにくっつけてとか清掃員みたいにっていうのはロープを伝ってか<笑> It's like this whole case is so weird but you're talking about putting stickers on a pole or dressing up like a janitor and rappelling down the side of the building or something まあとにかくそういうマットなしたんで歴史シールを貼ってる犯人の姿っていうのは想像できなくて Really? Interesting that you say it that way. You want to believe it's more fantastical? I just can't imagine the guy who put them up doing something so realistic. Well, that if the guy, that's if the guy who put them up is the same one behind all the deaths. Yeah, I don't know if I can't believe it. No, we don't know if it's the same guy putting them up. And anyway, do we need an actual criminal for this? The cops are saying that all three cases are suicides. But, I'm not sure if you're going to be a cop. I'm not sure if you're going to be a cop. I'm not sure if you're going to be a cop. But they're also trying to find the person who visited the room right before the don't look case, right? And. Did it, did it, did I do? I still felt like there was someone on the other side of that door. What do I? I feel like it's a message from someone who knows what's really going on. A message? Kaiten dead to no higai sha de aru kakita ga shino chokzen ni. どういう状態であったかはわからないけど。I don't know what Kiki, I don't know what Kikita was doing just before he died, but 仮に前の2件と同じように異常な精神状態にあったとしたら、それを生み出す何か、そうだな、薬物とかを3人とも服用してるとかで。If he was in some kind of abnormal mental state, like the last two cases, then something must have caused that, like a drug or something. Seriously, Liz. I'm with you on that. Oh my god. That they can eat like so much without getting fat. Like, what the hell? And then maybe someone who knew about the drug put, knows about the drug put up the stickers. What is the reason? Why? それは I don't know. わからんけど。But... What? お,お前はどう思うんだよ。What do you think then? は、huh? 僕は。I... So what was the deal with those stickers around the crime scenes? Let me think. Maybe putting up the stickers was a goal in and of itself. Huh? Huh? You know Batman, right? The squad of men who dress like bats, a superhero team, and not one person. はい。Batman wasn't any of that. Actually, I think that's about five or six different comics mixed together. <laughs> oh my god. Sakchuni Joka, the you. Ma, Akiakuga ite. Kariwa Gembani Toredo Mark to Ste, Torampuno Joka, no Gos Kotogarunda. Someone just saw the Dark Knight. <laughs> uh, or the. Oh my god. They're allowed to say that, huh? Jeez. 
They're, they're allowed to just straight up say the Joker, not like the tricker, trickster or something like that. There's this guy called the Joker. He's the bad guy. And he leaves a Joker from a deck of cards at the crime scene as, as his trademark. Even if he doesn't leave a card, his face looks like the Joker from the card deck. So either way, he can say Joker was here. So what do they transform into when he kept not kidnaps kids? What are you talking about? Nanda? So what, a guy who looks like those sumer stickers killed three people and made it look like a suicide for fun? And then left the stickers there as his trademark? Yeah, No, I'm just speaking hypothetically here. Yeah? So, so why doesn't he put the stickers on the bodies? Uh, it's just a hypothesis, okay? Jeez, get off my back. Why is this all happening on the same days as the new generation madness? How would I know? I tried to call Mito down. I'm just, to... I'm just trying to throw ideas against the wall, man. No need to get so aggressive. Anyway, let's just go over what we know. We can talk after that. Yeah, so is the sumo stickers, Ray. Yes, there's been one big thing. Um, that wall covered in sumo stickers was under the Shibuya Bridge, so... And the picture is, I wonder which one it could be. I have no idea which picture it is. And the summary is... That's where the next murder will be, maybe. They, they do have a lot of time. It's pretty creepy when you look at it. Have we ever seen this many at once? The sumo stickers phenomenon peaked in 2009 before the earthquake. But I think even then you usually didn't see this many in one spot. Does that sound about right? Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. How would you know? Because... Sarah said as she looked at me. I investigated them with Taku a long time ago. Huh? Huh? We've run around and looked at every single one in Shibuya. Right, Taku? Uh, uh, ma... Yes, I guess we did. Did they do that as like little kids, like trying to investigate things as like a little baby detective? That was part of my dark past, though. What the? <laughs> what? 
that slap. Oh, an embarrassing part of your history that you've never stopped. Because, oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> A certain famous mecha anime. Oh my god, that is so adorable. I want to see them as little baby detectives. Oh my god. That is so adorable. Yeah, we're pretty serious. You said there was a big mystery involved. That it was a conspiracy. Hey, you idiot. Bimbo. A conspiracy? Don't look at me like that. I was eight. Oh, my. Oh, he was literally... Oh, he was a Chunibyo! <laughs> he was a Chunibyo! Oh my god, I, I need to see fucking Chuni Takuru. <laughs> oh, so it wasn't that long ago. You were a 6th grader in 2009, weren't you? Were you into urban legends back then, too? <laughs> oh my god. I want to see more of... Th oh my god. I want to see their adventures as little kids. We looked into a lot of other stuff, too. There was the kune kune. The apocalyptic sound that... <laughs> Getting back to the point? They haven't caught the guy who put these up yet, right? <sighs> oh. oh man, I can't wait till he gets a D sword and he can chuny his heart out. I gotta think of the coolest delusion driver ever for you. So, according to Miyashiro Kun, who was already a poor, sad little boy in sixth grade. Hey! What do you mean I was a sad little boy? We don't know who created the Sumo stickers or why, right? So. Uh, so. That's right. So isn't it possible that they're involved in this case somehow? It's possible. He doesn't want to uh, admit it because he's freaked out by his by what he saw. Of course, it was also possible that someone other than the creator was using them. That is definitely true. But they'd been at all the crime scenes so far. Just felt like they had to be involved. These are the only stickers we've got right now, right? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Then here's the next step. I want to put a security camera up at the wall where all these tickets were placed. Huh? Huh? This shield is these stickers really bother me. Part of it is the fact that we've never seen so many of them in one place before, but... Uh, I guess I need a picture. Kazuki? 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 Is she asleep or something? Oh no, she's back playing her game. She was too busy playing ESO2 to listen. Kazuki! Kazuki! We need hmm? you! 
は新聞部の動画に使った町中の力士シール切り出してくれるか Could you get me the photos of the sumo stickers from around the city that were used for the video? うんで So? これが町中に貼ってあった力士シールさっきの壁一面に貼られた力士シールと見比べてくれ Yeah, they look slightly different These are the stickers that were put up around town. Compare them to the ones on the wall. I wasn't going to look myself, though. I didn't want to feel sick anymore. When I realized this in my room yesterday, I've been staring at them so long that I literally felt like I was about to throw up. They look different. They're just sumo stickers, right? Then look at the ones from the crime scenes. So there might be a bunch of like fakes, and like there's only some that actually work. Ito took a careful look at the picture I'd show. Oh. Oh. So we saw it. What? What is it? Design ga. Shiga. The design's different. Ito kept his eyes locked on the image. <laughs> Surprised? I'm not a sad little boy after all, am I? <laughs> okay, time for a lecture. Yes, there are several different sumo sticker designs. This has been the case since they were first discovered. Some have beards, some are crying, some have swollen heads. There are a bunch of them. Because of that, nobody knows which one was the original sticker design. In a sense, these things are graffiti. And in graffiti, it's common for someone to copy another person's work, so this happens a lot. In that case, only the people involved know which is the original and which is the copy. But this time... Yeah. The stickers on the wall and the stickers found at the crime scenes match completely. So... The stickers on the wall and the stickers found at the crime scenes match then, whoever put up the ones at the crime scenes is the same guy who put them up on the wall. Yeah, no, we don't know that. It might be a coincidence. There are some other stickers around Shavir with an identical design. Ito sighed, disappointed. What then? Yeah, but isn't it weird that there's so many? More than, the, than there's ever been? If it's the same guy, then that means this may be where the next crime to pl takes place. And a 
if we could get a video of it happening, it would be the biggest scoop of match. That's true, I guess. But are you sure about this? About what? If we put up a camera in the middle of the city without permission, that's an invasion of privacy, right? Shouldn't we at least wait until the next new gen date on the 10th? It's going way beyond what school club's supposed to do. Don't talk like Caruso. My am talking like Caruso. What happens if they catch us? I don't want to get killed. Huh? Tell you, you're too scared of Nachan. Right, Hanachan? <laughs> See? She'd not give any response. No, she's clearly not listening. Don't worry about Kurusu. She hasn't been coming after us lately anyway. That's true, but... Don't pussy out on me, man! This is our chance. Our only clue is the sumo stickers, and there's something about those stickers that's bugging me. If this works out, we can get a clue to who the killer is before the cops do. And the worst thing that can happen is we waste our time, right? Still, Ito thought for a second about something. Probably Kurusu. Fine, you're the club president. Yes. He nodded in resignation. All right. That's about all we need this board for right now. Hey, this is the first time you've gotten out so much use out of this board. Serika looked at all the papers pasted up on it. You're right, until now we haven't really had to go over everything. Did I just hear her get upset? Did she just lose a roll for a rare item or get kill steal or something? Hey, don't do that, Hana-chan! You'll make a dent in the wall. There was a pretty big dent in it already, actually. She is strong as hell. Um, what's wrong? Huh? What's wrong? Ito was still looking at the board. Was there something I'd forgotten to go over? Nothing. Just, there's a lot of things we don't have answers to, right? Nothing. Just, there's a lot of things we don't have answers to, right? 
なんで現場じゃなくて少し離れたところに歴史シールがあるのかとか。Like why this is happening on the same dates as New Gen? Well, the Suma Seekers are found near the scenes, but not at the scenes themselves. Well, I think they're set, they're set there to film it or record it for whatever reason. Did you figure something out? No, that's not it. Ito shook his head. I just realized that because of that, we got a big leg up on everybody else. Keisan from Shibuya News realized the thing with the dates, but. Okay, I'll see what I'm doing. I'll see what I'm doing. I'll see what I'm doing. Has that happened before? That's true, yes. That just means this is our big chance, right? Yeah, if we don't start thinking of it that way, we may miss out. Ito smiled as if he'd gotten over his doubts. What do you do, camera? So, was your plan with the camera? We can't use the club's camera. Want to use yours? Ah, Mani, Jidakuno Bohayoni Kate, a much at the Jinkan Shikinatsu, Motekter, Strode, Karinita, Jugat Stokama, the Sase Strutos, the Motteria Mose. Yes, I bought some motion activated cameras for home security and ended up with an extra, so I brought it with me. It's got a battery long enough to last until October 10th. Yes. Let's go now. Let's go now. Oh, should we go right now then? Ah, that's it. Oh, how about that? Huh? Huh? Eh, uh... Um, can you go by yourself? Ooh, are you really gonna ask him to do that? Huh? Huh? What are you gonna do? Arimura san ni mo ichito hanashi o kiki ni iku. Kino wa likishi shield to doga no app de bata bata shite te muri datta kara. I'm going to go talk to Arimura san. Yesterday I was too busy with that video and the Suma stickers to do it. Ito looked surprised and felt silent for a moment. Well, I know there's a lot of stuff you want to ask her, but. When we met her last week in the student council room, she... Like... I don't know how to say it. She seemed a little strange and imposing. Didn't you think she was scary? <clears throat> yes. I could tell what Ito was trying to say. Arimura, he and I have been a cheerful girl. At least when she was talking to Karusu. The second I brought up the Love Hotel incident. <laughs> So you were the Hakio student who came into the room. Everything about it. Oh, sorry, I thought it was uh, no, no talking. 
So y'all were the heck of a student who came into the room. Everything about her changed. Her voice was flat and emotionless, telling me nothing about what she was really thinking. And... Y'all are gonna be killed, Miyashiro Takuru Senpai. She told you something back then, didn't she? Does that have something to do with it? No, nothing. She didn't say anything. Nito's thoughts, on the other hand, were extremely easy to follow. He didn't believe a word I said. Well, whatever. You two were the ones who were in the room with her. He must have come up with some probable answer that satisfied him. You can go by yourself. You never gonna end up tripping over your own words. Ah, I'm going to go to the Oh, I'll go with him. Taku, you're not used to having more on yet, are you? Yes! Shut up. I would just get a little nervous. What? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, yeah. oh, does he have a crush on Serika? Oh, he's the third wheel, isn't he? Ah, uh, poor Ito. Poor Ito. Ah, oh, I feel bad for him. Nothing. Just, you know. You two are together all the time. Does he have a crush on Serika? Oh my god. <laughs> we are not. Oh. Just she and I. Oh, oh. Huh? Delusion? Yes, yes! She and I had been friends for our whole lives. Oh. Hey. Huh. He's, he's saying, oh shit, I have a lot of work to do. But then again, childhood friends often lose, which makes me really scared. What are you trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like you to freak out, but still not deny it. Huh? You really aren't, Normi. What did you say? Uh, anyway, you know no way can handle Arimura san. Okay. I love her, okay. Okay. Hey, wait, I. Uh, any girl will do. And me and uh, Kazuki. Nanka, I suddenly appeared in the middle of the 
she says a huge swarm of enemies just popped up and killed her. An MPK, maybe? No, wait a second. Dono Michi. Kazukiya Buskara de Demode Bukatsu Sriyasha, I don't know. Kazuki's not the type to do anything outside the club, anyway, is she? Ja. Orega Camera Tanto de. And I'll handle the camera myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Itekimas. See you later. Poor Ito. Itarasoi. Hi. Ito silently took the bag with the camera from, an, from me and said, Sechigare. Yep. Yep, he can see it. Some guys have all the luck. Yeah, he totally, yeah, he sees it. Oh. With those mysterious words, I could not possibly comprehend what he's implying. He disappeared into the hallway. Shin-chan, What's wrong with Shin-chan? No clue. I haven't the foggiest idea. See what secret saved the world from destruction. Who is this? An urban legend lover who loves her lives. Face may look like super rare, but no, it's actually a it's a fat man. You don't know, even know it's a man. It could be a woman. Any other fortieth tank of lovers like me lives. Matsuo. He reached Ozaki's pool with that Yokozuna. Sick as a super wrestler. Bat, that's a compliment. It was 3 a.m. I'm a friend here. Okay. Some real super wrestlers don't have enough hair to form a top knot. They all burst their hair back. Hair is parted, not brushed back. No super wrestlers ever seen the ring with parted hair. So what does that hair mean? Is just some guy with parted hair? No, the hair in fact represents a temple. And the temple, of course, you find a god. Sticker a solar storm. A second. Three eyes, two overlapping faces should of course produce four eyes. The number of three is significant. Third eye is the eye of the mind. Since ancient time oh, I know that. Anyone who's played Ever 17 knows about the third eye. Using motif and conspiracy theories and legends. The eye that sees truth. The Sen Senrigan, the Andra Chakra, the Eye of the Pyramids. All these things are represented as having power beyond human understanding. In other words, the third eye is God himself. The Eye of the Pyramids, symbol of the Freemasons, so knows the all seeing eye of God, the Egyptian deity Horus. In other words, the eye, God, so need the hair of this temple. Do you remember in 2012 when the world was just entering the Mayan Apocalypse? The research has already proven the original date given from the Mayan Apocalypse is incorrect. The correct date was September 3rd, 2015, which was also passed over. <laughs> the date brings up to Egyptian mythology. According to a legend recorded on a fresco in the Temple of Isis, the world will sink underwater in September 2015. The goddess Isis, mother of the sun god Horus. Do you understand now? Super stickers represent God. But then why are they only appearing in Shivia? Because the grace of God wanted to protect Shivia from the apocalypse. If you're a frequent reader of this blog, you already guess what I'm about to say. Last month, September 2015, the world was threatened by a greater danger than any had ever faced before. A massive solar storm caused electronics to crash all over the world, especially North America and Europe. A full month passed, only 60% of the damage has been fixed. That's why Japan, the third world's third largest economy, and in particular Shibuya, one of its biggest cities, to fall from this unscathed? Yes, because the eyes of God, the third eyes, open and created a powerful barrier. This is the truth, and this might must all the people of Shibuya. I want you to understand this. Based on Super Secrets, not belonging to Super Wrestler, the symbol of God, they are God. You must not take them down, that will blast me. For too long, so I'll go back to detail in the next entries. Entries in perspective. By the way, my name is Maya, lol. How's that for synchronicity? I see Super Secrets too. It's totally Super Wrestler, Winsy Matsui. Some creepy shit, lol. It's passing through. 
How many people believe the Egyptian calendar apocalypse? So then they came up with it to explain why the Mayan apocalypse never happened. All the supposed dates after 2018, 2017, 2020, then 2030. Shoot. We went through some more old myths and legends around the world. I'm sure you could find more. Pretty serious here is just like a power structure to control the masses. Depending on how you look at it, a lot depends on whether you assume God. Wow, this is long! God saved Shivia. Whether he drove the rest of the world to the brink of destruction. It was possible that Shivia was already purified six years ago. And that's why it's allowed to survive. God, huh? How many Japanese have a real understanding of what God actually is? Unacceptable. Do you know how people died in the earthquake six years ago? This is inappropriate. Please delete this entry immediately. Where did the name come from? Sumo Secrets don't actually do it to Sumo Wrestler. We should look at who first started calling him that. We use the same name to describe things, which means someone must have been the first to come up with it. Perhaps someone gave that name for the reason for a reason. Maybe they wanted to blind us to the fact stickers were go were God by making us think they were sumo wrestlers. I sense the presence of someone who doesn't want to admit the existence of God. Perhaps wants to hide it. Evens out to zero. Over the past few years, uneven people have been cold from Shibia. That's what I think. Life is a balance between fun and sorrow. It all evens out to zero. It's not a bad life, but for most people, it's not net negative. Coming down to zero is the best we can hope for. So what is death, then? The only thing no man can avoid? It's not a minus, of course, not a plus, either. Evens out to zero. Evens out to nothing at all. The unneeded are cold because they are unneeded. You say they were chosen because they were unneeded. The first great culling was the earthquake. New generation instances were foretold it. Shibby now is just like it was six years ago. God will come once again to cull the unneeded. My god, this guy's a fucking, fucking psycho. Soon as seekers are gods, so you will soon be covered in them once more. Seriously, Zash. Re Apocalypse Series 7. That doesn't explain why the 1999 Nostradamus prophecy, 2012 mine, and the 15, 2015 Egyptian Apocalypse was so heavily reported by the media. Are Onoe Sanja? Alright, this is a good place to stop. I'm getting tired. Woo! Oh my god, you guys, I am addicted to this game. I am just straight up addicted to this game. Our first save in chapter two. <laughs> I don't know, Liz. I, I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to make this that long. But uh, I'm just too addicted to this game. I love these characters so much. Oh my god. Uh, on Tuesday, at the new time, you know, we'll do Trails and uh, and Limbus, and then we will continue this on next. Uh, wait, I mean on Sun. Uh, I mean on Sunday is Trails and Limbus, and we will continue this on next Tuesday, which I am counting already counting down the days. So until next time, I will say so long, farewell. I'll be just saying goodnight. You're all the sweetest of hearts.